All right, check this out. I made this whole presentation using our slide guru agent. I gave it this reference image and the topic I wanted. In this case, I asked it to explain how the agent works. It generated multiple slides in the same style as the reference, complete with titles and layouts. Then it automatically added these really clean animated transitions between each slide. And the whole thing comes together in just three steps. Upload your reference image. It generates style slides based on your content. Then it adds those really cool transitions that make your presentation feel alive. You can do this for any presentation, fast, easy, and super flexible. So let me walk you through the full process from start to finish. Let's get right into it. Okay, here we are on the Glyph website and we can access the Slide Guru agent by making sure we're here on the Agents tab. And then we can just click on the Slide Guru icon right here. And you can also find a link to this agent in the description. And we are now here and in the chat, we can pretty much ask it, what is it that we want? So. I'm gonna give it a reference image and I'm gonna give it uh, this image right here, which is an 8-bit version of me that I use for all my profile icons. Fun fact, I actually made this myself. I didn't really use AI for this, but I'm gonna use this as a reference image. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag my image there. And now I can give it a topic. And I'm gonna go with the evolution of gaming. I'm gonna press enter. It will automatically know that the image I gave it is a reference image, but it might make sense to just let it know that it's a reference image that you gave it. So here we're gonna have a few options. We could do a full presentation with animated transitions. If you just want the slides alone, you can go with the slides and it's cheaper. And you can do slides and voiceover narration, or you can do the complete package, which is slides, transition, and audio all together. So for this example, we're just gonna go ahead and do the presentation, the full presentation with the animated transitions so that you can see how to make one of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this option right here. So now here it's showing me the slide structure. It's telling me that it's going to generate seven slides and it's telling me which each slide is gonna be and what it's going to say. So I can ask it for more right here in the bottom. It says you can do, you can make it shorter. It can be four to five slides. It can be 10 or more. And for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and go with seven. So I'll click on that. Now it's gonna generate each slide individually and we're gonna see what it's gonna look like. And if we like them, we can approve them and then it's going to create the transitions for us. All right, it just finished generating the images. And as you can see, it's very much in the style of the reference image that I gave it. And it's telling a story from where gaming started and where it's at right now. Oh, and look, it actually put me in there. That's pretty cool. I'm actually really happy with the way these turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask it to animate these for us. All right, so it created the transitions for us. If I play them, I can preview them and see what it's gonna look like. Very cool, that looks sick. So for us to be able to use the slides, we have to click on this link right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Control left click on PC so that it can open up a new window over here. Uh, this should be this thing that pops up on the left side of the screen where it says copy JSON. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that and it's gonna copy all this text that's here and you're just gonna paste it here and just press start presentation. And it's gonna load up everything that, that just got generated and it's gonna start with the first slide. And now we can do a presentation with our transitions. So I'm gonna go ahead and press next and see. Cool, I can press also on my keyboard, I can press right and it's gonna keep going. And here, as you're doing your presentation, you can talk about the topic, and then you go to the next slide, it's gonna animate the 2000s, online multiplayer, and 2010s to now, mobile phone and VR, and then the last slide, game on. I really like this agent, it's really fun to use. And I know some of you might be thinking, well, this is pixel art, there's nothing really unique about it. Let's go ahead and choose a different reference image to see how well it does with a different style. All right, so I'm here on Pinterest because it's a place where they have a lot of cool images with different styles, stuff that's very unique. And I found this one with like the paper cutout style and I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose one of these and maybe this one right here. Oh, these are crazy here but uh, let's go ahead and do it with this one. All right, I'm gonna copy that. And for the topic, I'm gonna go with the stages of procrast 
destination. So I'm gonna do the exact same process as I did before. Gonna select slides with animated transitions. All right, so this is what it gave me. And I actually ha don't really like it because it's putting the rocket ship on all of them. And I was hoping that it would just use the style and not the actual rocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit more instructions so that it can give me exactly what I want. So I'm using an app where I dictate instead of type. So I'm gonna go ahead and dictate what I want. Can you please remove the rocket and all the images and just use the style of the reference image. Try to show imagery that's related to the topic. You can also remove all the space elements. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and give it that instructions. And hopefully it's gonna give me some better results now. I think the best thing to do to prevent stuff like this happening is maybe having it just do one image first so that you can see what it's gonna look like. And then you can iterate it so that it can align better with what you're trying to go for. And here we go, this is what we wanted. We didn't want the spaceships, we didn't want all that. We wanted more imagery that was related to the topic, but it's still using all those crazy vibrant colors that was in the reference image. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and animate these. And now it's done generating the animated transitions. And I'm gonna go ahead and again, copy the JSON right here, go to this link right here, and then paste it again, start presentation. And there we have it. So let's go ahead and look through it. All right. Nice. I'll start tomorrow. That's the typical thing we say, right? When we're procrastinating, uh, we're getting distracted. We're gaming. We're well, not really reading books probably, but we're like texting and we're watching shows. We're eating junk food. We're on our phone, right? And then panic mode. I, I loved how that, that was like shaking because of the panic mode. Uh, yeah, that was really cool transition. Uh, yeah, you're in panic. You're like last minute. I got to get this done. Um, kind of like in the intro of this video and finally actually doing the thing. And yeah, this is really, really cool. I love playing around with this agent and I think it's super useful. It's not just something to play with. It's actually something that could be useful for somebody who's doing the presentation in front of your class in a professional environment, presenting online. This can really bring your presentations to life. Go ahead and try it for yourself. The link to the agent will be in the description. And that's how you can use this agent to level up your slides and add those smooth transition in your presentations. More tutorials are coming your way, so don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the latest AI tools. Until next time, take care.